Hey guys, welcome back to some more Troy, a Total War Saga here today on the channel. We're back with episode 5 of my Aeneas Let's Play. Aeneas, to start things off here today, we're going to confederate with Lycia. Sarpedon has managed to confederate just quickly then with Hector of Troy. But for some reason, we're going to be able to confederate with him. So we're going to be able to unite the entire Aeneas, Trojan cool. world. We're going to be under the control of Paris... Sarpedon and Hector. Most so, if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video a like, subscribe if you're new around here with notifications on, let me know in the comments, feedback and suggestions for the series, and where you'd like me to expand and conquer. Feel free to leave the series a dislike if you don't like myself or Troy for whatever reason. And lets me sort of gauge your response. So, in the last episode, we managed to finish I'm off the Thracians to the north. Priam's probably going to give us a military alliance here. Um, I want to try and squeeze out as many resources as we can. Oh, we might be able to get nearly... Wow, that's a hell of a lot of food we're going to be able to get. We have been struggling with our food just due to our... A, c a couple of things, mostly. is because we're not big enough to sustain what we currently stars. have. Um, I've got four full armies in operation. We currently have Aeneas Romulus towards the north of our map. Um, while Remus is sort of dealing with some rebellions and along with uh, Paris as well. He's defending Easily our done. coastal territory. But we're going to have to deal with um, all that territory what in a moment. Oh, so I these... Yeah, Trollos. Um, were they... Bro they he might be one of my cousins. We're all, we're all Trojans. We're all related, I guess. Um, so, to continue on our Homeric, we need to actually have a military alliance with you. Oh, so maybe we might need to go to war with... More of those guys to the north. Ah, oh, these guys want a military alliance as well. Yeah, because they've been taking the... They they actually hold the grain in our core territory near Dardania. We're currently strength ranked one for now. We're a strategic threat. But I find it really interesting that Hector and Paris were the weaker of the two Tro uh, Troy factions. While myself and Sarpedon excelled. Okay, so Aeneas is up in the north, Romulus is dealing with rebellions, Remus is there, and Paris is on the coast. But now that we've confederated with Sarpedon, let's have a look at what we've got. So he's got a full stack down in his house, that's a hell of a lot of chariots. 36k food we're losing! I want to try and keep as many of those heavy chariots, but he's only rank 8. This is veteran difficulty, why are the generals so low? I just feel like we've been a little bit shafted, AI-wise. Like, Hector and Paris look like they're probably going to get defeated, while the Denans and the Caians, like, they're actually launching naval invades. Like, Achilles has raided us twice. Like, down here, funnily enough, um... I'll do it. Oh, there's even some, like, armies over here. What? Did Sarpedon really have that? Menelaus is there. Yeah, so, Helen of Troy's been retaken, by the way, by <laughs> Achilles. He's claimed her as his war prize, I guess. And there's a lot of other armies st stretched around here. So we didn't have... Because confederations are a little bit costly because they do hemorrhage a decent amount of public order around. And agents cost some money of this. So let's try and get as many of these as possible. Get rid of as many of these as possible. We're still minusing 16k. Because we've got a... The thing is, alright, there's a couple of things. Because we've got multiple armies that are in effect. Um... Which puts our grain heavily down. We haven't got too much of it either. We've been a little bit unlucky and hamstrung with it. Um, so we're going to have to get that back on track. But my 16k, crikey. We've got 38 of it. But that just shows you the diplomacy system in full force. So we've united the Trojan world. Um, yeah, we're not going to need that spy there. So I guess we'll just have to see how we do. Hector's been injured, which is a shame. So this is what we currently own. We have a lot of fragmented islands here and there. Look, I've gone through the buildings. We'll break down stuff what we don't need and necessarily want. Because the thing is, right, obviously the AI basically cheats. So um, they build buildings. Look at this. It was like it was a crazy amount of... Part. Like they've got a lot of... For example, they don't have to deal with public order. So they build a bunch of stuff that's going to benefit them without the intention of dealing with public order. Um... Decent amount of territory there. So I guess we'll just try and move Sarpedon back. And we'll allow him to defend his southern territory. Um, but yeah. I, I just like... We're just so overextended. That's the thing. 
Now, looking at Sarpedon's army build, we managed to get it down to 16k. We're actually losing 7... Yeah, that's the main thing. 680... Co uh, I keep on saying copper. Why am I saying copper? Was that a Minecraft thing? I don't know. Why do I keep on saying copper? It's bronze. We're in the bronze age. God damn it. Menelaus is nearby. We might have to get rid of those heavy chariots because we're hemorrhaging that. Uh, so even though we've got a territory on eh, the peninsula mainland, we might have to deal with that. And unfortunately, Achilles is our main antagonist. So we can't make peace with him f forever. Um, we're going to have to be dealing with that. We've got two territories here in Lesbos. Odysseus is nearby. Let's send a spy over. And I guess we'll send Paris across the coast. But it's kind of cool seeing that Paris... Hector, Priam, and Sarpedon have bent the knee to the one true Trojan, the father of Rome, the first Roman. All hail Aeneas, king of the Romans. <laughs> Let's get rid of those chariots. So it's going to save us 200 bronze per turn. But uh, we've got a pretty decently sized empire now. No, let's reject that. Yeah, so we have military allied with them, so we might be able to get that chapter objective done. Oh, great. So we've been attacked here by the Anthers, so we'll call out military allies. I guess we're only at war with two people at the moment, but uh, now we're a threat. We might get sort of ganged up on. Oh, look at this. A gold chevron force. What? Troll pass. Oh, so, I don't know how Sarpedon's going to be able to defend his lands to the south. That's a tremendous army there, and I had to just get rid of the chariots. Mm. Oh, what is this? Why am I getting ganged up on? And another! Oh my god. Is it even worth it? Worth saving these fools? Hector, Paris, and Sarpedon. Because I'm at war with so many people now. Okay, so basically, mm, this is not looking good. Some of these territories might be able to defend themselves because they've got quite light. This is ridiculous. Lycomedes. This is ridiculous. This is a joke. Is it because they're just confederated so I technically took heaps of territory quite quickly? That's veteran difficulty for you. That's ridiculous. Look at this. So essentially all the external territory we've lost. Well, there's no point of having Sarpedon down here. We might as well ferry him back up. We can't afford him to get weakened. Yeah, they're also not very high rank either. Mm. Uh, so Divine Will, Ares, Aphrodite, Hera. Um, looking at the victory objectives for Sarpedon, you just need to hit them once to 300. And then they get done like that. So... Right, 250 favor with Aphrodite. That's fine, because that's different. And we need to take this entire province. So, Imbrasos and Thesos and Sassos. Okay. So, there's one territory we don't have. Man, so can we get any quick deals and pieces? We've just been ganged up on. Dominant strategic threat. Ranked 1. So... Odysseus has 11, Sparta has 18, and Achilles has 14. Only All right. Fool trust their fate to the um, we're going to negotiate with this Amazonian woman here, Penthilissa. Um, she's either the sister or some or daughter or some relative of Hippolyta uh, down to the south. So we'll try and finish off these... Other barbarians to the north. Yeah, so... Aeneas... Okay, oh, God, we didn't get the morale buff there either. So Aeneas and Romulus are up in the north. So we've got 40 units operating down there. And we're still hemorrhaging a lot of cash because we just can't seem to support these armies. But, yeah. I guess what we're going to have to do is basically make a defensive line on the coast of Troy and try and defend it as best we can. We don't need to take Troy, nor do we need to defend it in our victory conditions. We just need to get rid of, in the Homeric wise, um, Sparta, which is going to be easier said than that done. Oh, God, they've sent two full stacks here. 
Maybe Paris can intercept one. So Achilles has come back again for another raid. You think they'd be going headstrong to Troy, but they don't seem to be. They just seem to be raiding. And they've hit me there. Okay. Uh, we're going to declare war upon some minor Fijians. There's only uh, one, set of, it's one settlement of them here. Yeah. Maybe in hindsight for your campaigns, especially if you play as Aeneas, or maybe as a Trojan, uh, confederating, you might want to wait a while because I feel like all of our problems started when I followed that Homeric decision to at put defense, uh, defensive alliances because we get drawn into wars and military and then I was like, oh, we might as well confederate because we don't want to lose them. But yeah, I just feel like Hector and Paris have had a really bad playthrough. And, and sometimes that happens. Sometimes, um, for example, if you're playing as Tyrion, sometimes Imric can get wiped out or... A Lithana, and then you can never get them, and they're quite high ranking, high elf lords. Or maybe with the Vampire Coast is a sort of similar thing. Or maybe with the Empire, sometimes Geld can get wiped out, which is a little bit of a shame. But Remus here now is going to be trying to secure the island territory there. Um, but he's doing alright. Not the most craziest army. Do it right. Yeah. But I'm quite surprised how low rank they are. Like, they're super low rank. Even compared to Romulus and Remus, Remus maybe there needs to be a sort of an XP buff. Because we're 76 turns in. In a normal Total War campaign, you probably can wrap up a short victory in 120. We did about 100 turns with Achilles, but this Troy campaign might be slightly difficult. Yeah. So Mycenae's gone. Sparta always seems to confederate with them. Apollo, Athena, Poseidon, Zeus. We've done five out of the eleven. Okay, so um, here is Paris, of course. Now, because like normally I like would be able to have standing armies and a lot more of them. Um, I'm going to swap out Paris for Hector because he's a better quality um, general. We could have gone with Sarpedon, but we'll go with Hector. We'll bring out Paris. We'll eventually bring him back into the field. But if we're dealing with Achilles, we probably should bring... Well, I guess historically we probably should bring in Paris. But Hector, defender of Troy. Yeah, so he hasn't been griefed too much. Uh, there's a couple stuff there I don't like. But he'll defend the coast here now. Okay, so we need to take Thassos. Remus doesn't have the best quality army. But we'll, we'll try it. Uh, okay. Really? Renowned swordsman? Like, it's okay, it's an army, I get that. But why does the garrison have renowned swordsmen? That's crazy. Well, that's not going to work. So, we're going to have to... Well, they could maybe attack us. I guess. Uh, no, we're going to have to break, I reckon, and maybe try and ambush them. That's the play. It's a gold mine, maybe. Let's talk to some dead people. So, um, oh, we can actually commune with Hercules. Plus three rank, plus 15 melee, faction wide. We'll go with that. Yeah, so Remus is rank five. Um, I'm going to swap him out for Sarpedon. Yeah, because we can't even bring in Paris. Because Sarpedon's eight and an epic hero. So we'll put Remus back into the pile. We'll try and um, get him in a little bit later, I guess. But he's not too bad. I don't mind Sarpedon. Son of Zeus. Okay, so we're going to negotiate with the Amazons and we're going to get a war with Thinia. This is the last faction towards our north here. So talk? it's, yeah, What's Penthalicia. Like Military access. Oh, I'm actually happy with that because they're a horde faction. 
So I'll join your war. And if you say... I'll give you military access because that means I don't get neg- We both, did, both don't- You don't get a trespass penalty, we both don't get negative uh, relations. So accept that because she's actually like got, got a gold chevron army. It's actually quite decent. Uh, Horde Amazonians, yes, she's just hanging around in the north. So that is probably one of the main strategic threats there. I'm getting a plus 30 now. So let's have a look at her. Yeah, look at that. Gold chevrons. Sirens. A crazy amount of quality units there. So Anais can push further north here now. And we should be able to make quick work of these guys. And then we'll be able to double back with these two armies to help defend against the invading um, Denans. Hmm. But yeah, maybe I'm be was better off to keep maybe a couple more AI factions alive because now I'm really the main controller of it and I keep on getting overextended. We'll just have to see how we go. So, once we've consolidated our back, we'll push down, we'll try and hold on the coast and, and see how we go. We'll sort of try and weather the storm, try and break them down and then we'll look to counterpunch and uh, expand into their territories, but we'll just have to see how we go, I guess. I shall do so. Okay. So we should be able to take their capital now and secure our northern front. Yeah, I only lost a couple of units there, but that's alright. Sweet. So now we've got all the north under our control. We're currently strength ranked two, so we've gone down in the pecking order. Anais can come in and loot and occupy the city. So we're only hemorrhaging 500 now as we've secured a couple more provinces. And yeah, we did lose a couple units there, so technically there's a little bit more, but it's still a lot more down than the whopping 37k or so. Or so. Zeus said, I'm not too fussed about that, because we want to try and get that up and high. We still need to go around and build a lot of temples in our areas. Yeah, just a lot of this stuff isn't useful, eh? Okay, so it looks like we're going to be able to confederate with, time to speak with Elion or Leon. Small faction of only two. We do get a minus confederation debuff. But what I'm more importantly happy to take is we finally get Pagalia. Uh, we get the grain supply there. We get two lots of grain. That was really Why annoying us, so... Uh, yeah, renowned Swordsman. I might actually be able to use those units. Renowned Bowman as well. Because we can't recruit Bowman, I don't think. So, it's probably not a bad idea keeping them. Hector's still hanging around here. So we might be able to deal with that. Oh, yeah, remember that military alliance we had on the west coast there? Yeah, the Spartans came in and attacked, even though um, we're not at war with them, so that's a shame. Romulus and Aeneas are heading south now, though. Okay, guys, I've skipped a little bit ahead. Turn 93. Hector and Sarpedon are pushing to Thassos, uh, as we were having a bit of a problem um, with Remus up here. But now with a full stack, Hector is going to be pushing north. Um, Aeneas is currently ranked 27, so he can be fighting Achilles in sort of the coastal areas, while Hector and Sarpedon are going to team up and go Attack northwards and secure the island here, because we want to try and get as many of those Homeric victories as we can. But we are currently 93 turns in into the let's play. We'll bring in Sarpedon just to come down and, and help out in the auto resolve. But here is Hector, son of Priam, Prince of Troy, in full action. Uh, 300 men only lost there. While we have Aeneas and Romulus holding the coast down to the south. But uh, on that note, we probably should have the Homeric mission done. So have we got the entire province? Oh, no, we haven't, because, yeah, it went back to that. Oh, God. It, yeah, it went back to the Spartans, like I said, because we had a military alliance there, but now oh, I guess we're going to have to go to war with them. So annoying. Yep, so this is what we currently occupy, and 
without me sort of paying attention, I'm not at war with the Spartans, they have massively invaded and they've just declared war upon me, which is a shame. Look how strong they are. Even the Trojan factions I wasn't able to confederate with, they have um, just wiped them out. So there's a 20 stack here on Lesbos. Aeneas has made it all the way down here. So I don't know if we're going to be able to defend it. There's another 20 stack moving to Troas. And we have Romulus heading eastward now because we actually boarded with Spartans. So I'm just going to, ab Ugh. I'm going to abandon Lesbos as there's four stacks down there. Man, oh man. It kind of reminds me of Warhammer 2 when you just get absolutely ganged up on. There's another one to the, s the north there as well. It's just because obviously we can't divide into two stacks and there's a supply lines thing. Like in, pre like in previous Total Wars we probably could be able to do this, um, being able to split our armies up. But we're just a little bit stuck. There's too many adversaries. So, so to get the, yeah, to go for 6th. The epic mission. We need to take this island chain, which is kind of annoying because we're overextending ourselves. I don't care about these islands. They're not overly too worth it for me. And they're incredibly hard to defend. If we had a navy, we would be able to intercept anything. But there's no navies in Troy, unfortunately. So we'll all resolve this one out. And try and secure the island against the Spartans. And, yeah, I guess like we're going to have to hold strategic positions. Most of Sarpedon... And Paris's coastal and distant empire is crumbling. And we just need to sort of hold where we can. Just need to wipe as many of them out. Just try and sue for peace. But the thing is with the um, Achilles, we can never sue for peace with him because he's an antagonist. Yeah. Just in a little bit of a tricky situation. Okay, good. Um, we are nearly there. So, Sarpedon's going to push in. Yep. And there's four gods watching over us. So, you can really sort of spam out the gods with Aeneas, which is quite cool. Uh, if I go with a force march, oh, you can't actually get in. Uh, no, we're just going to have to go with Sarpedon there. Rank 9. And he also gets level ups conquering a lot more, while Aeneas is going to need to intercept and fight probably higher ranked commanders. So we'll try and make Hector and him the invasion force. So he's actually been besieged here, Aeneas, by a seven rank. Um, yeah, I guess we go for Theb. Hippolachia. Um, okay, we'll encircle that for now. And I'll figure out which battle I want to play. So, so we probably can auto-resolve that one there. I think... Look at this. The auto-resolves this one. What? It's actually not in my favor. Oh, it's because of those Pythian champions. Got a garrison though. Okay, let's chuck a hard save. Nine percent good omens. Let's fight this one on the field. So this is our first major fight against Achilles' faction of the Pythia. Um, Alcamedon. Okay, so he's got uh, six of those Pythia champions. They do really well in order resolve. They're unbreakable. But they are a little bit exposed to missile resistance. Unfortunately, it's currently pouring down in rain for the battle in today's episode. So I think that's how we, we're going to have to sort of maybe be a little bit defensive, even though I don't like to be. So we're, we're going to just try and continue to throw back the invading Denards because they are swarming us massively. We'll allow Hector and Sarpedon to sort of control the sort of northern, the western, God's coastal smile. territory. And we'll allow Aeneas to intercept anyone like Menelaus or Achilles. And we'll try and get Romulus. Like, if we can just secure some of that territory, he might be able to give us some breathing room. But, yeah, there's no way. There's no way we're going to be able to defend that Sarpedon or Paris territory. Some are still holding out in order resolves uh, with the garrisons. But building-wise, I'm also currently building a lot of... I'm upgrading my fortresses and garrisons where I can. So we'll send Aeneas up to try and fight with their... General, he's ranked 27 without buffs, which I find is quite crazy. Um, it took me, yeah, I've definitely played a lot more battles with Aeneas in this playthrough than the Achilles one, even though both are set on the normal balance difficulty. I think um, Menelaus and Odys uh sorry, Menelaus and Sarpedon are currently easy um, while we're on normal, obviously. 
playing on veteran difficulty. So we'll try and close the distance here um, with the reinforcements now coming in. And we're going to need our gold chevron now. Skirmishes to come in. We've got some black harpies as well. And we'll swing around with the savage centaurs. So the order resolve wasn't in our favor. Probably, probably more so like 45 uh, in our favor compared to theirs. But this now looks about... yeah. 60-40, I'd say. So, Aeneas is going to try and to engage their enemy warlord. And hopefully, he can bring him down. But at rank 27, yeah, he should be doing better in the order is off. I do know we've only got medium Anatolian swords. Um, if they get knocked down, we'll eventually phase them out for the heavy variant. But for now, we've got a, a decent amount of buffs for that. Yeah, maybe archers and slingers have let us down. Because I haven't been overly too much of a... A big fan of the harpies because that's personal preference. Well, yeah. Their quality is debatable. But not having heavy archers at our disposal is a bit tricky for an AS. Okay. Let's push up as we're currently getting shot at by those slingers. And go about there with the skirmishes as well. Alright, savage centaurs. We'll try and see an opportunity and swing around the back. Yeah, champions of the Bethia. We might be able to get a decent charge against them. Side on, maybe. Okay, let's grab each, every individual sword unit and try and target someone. Your warriors have spotted hidden Just to pin them down and we'll try and wrap around them. I can't remember if they're unflankable, but they could very well be. So then we might have to back off a bit and get my missile infantry to help out. If we can snipe their enemy lord, that'd be good. But I'm kind of blown away as to how many armies they are deploying. Or maybe I've been naive and Hector and Paris have been dealing with these swarming armies for quite some time. We did get a little bit in the Troy campaign... Uh, playing as yeah, we we it, playing as Achilles, we got a little bit of exposure to invading Trojan forces as we took the city of Troy and left. But no, nothing on this level. Maybe because there's also natural defences on the other side of Greece. There's a lot of peninsulas and archipelagos like stretching out. Uh, we'll try and get my cavalry and yep. So we smash those units because they're not. Unflankable. We'll allow our savage centaurs to run down the skirmishes there. It's muddy, it's wet, and we've pretty much broken them. They kind of do that little Your hop, that little skip, that routed. little... Like, what do horses do? Trot. I can't, I can't remember what they do. I couldn't think of the... Um... <laughs> there was a song, isn't it? The cow goes moo, the pigs go oink oink. The horses go, no! <laughs> uh, it's also weird the that, like, uh, people also have different noises for that. Like, I remember learning in Japanese, they had a bunch of crazy ones of what the animals sound like, because obviously, horse go, no, is like Anglo sized. <laughs> Pink, oink, oink. Like, I'm pretty sure. If I'm not mistaken, um, every country has their own little weird etymology like that. Like, what are the animal sound sounds in your language? Let me know in the comments. So, so far we're doing quite well against the weaker variants. Um, we're wrapping around the spears, the Pathea ones, not so much. So, let's just try and focus on them. They are, obviously, uh, heavy champions. Uh, so, Aeneas is actually at half health. Alright, those slingers are uh, holding us off there. Yeah, but what's also surprising me, it's obviously, we're getting targeted as the human player. We're not necessarily, like, Troy isn't getting attacked. Like, is there kind of like, a faction-wide thing if Troy falls? Like a faction-wide debuff that needs to be retaken. But Zeus and the gods are smiling upon us. Whoa! There's a golden beam there. 
Yeah. So they've now broken. Let's bring my centaurs up, back and around. Okay, so they're still holding on slightly. Yeah, it's just these Patheas, Pathea swordsmen, or champions of the Pathea. So try and get my skirmishers to hit them from behind. They are exposed. Crikey. My silver chevron medium swords are getting put through the absolute ringer against theirs. This is a close one. I just don't know how we're going to get out of it. Like this war. Um, eventually, if anyone knows, let me know if your antagonist is randomly generated. Because having Achilles as our antagonist isn't the best. One of your units has no more um, ammunition. And, yes, that's a little bit cheesy because we've got Achilles as our antagonist. While when I played as Achilles, the Amazonians were my antagonist. Eh. To be honest, maybe it's different. We must become. Excuse me, we must be coming close to that total war victory because we must have probably occupied, sacked or something, nearly like 60 different settlements, maybe. Just due to confederations, that's the main thing. Yeah, pull back. I've, I've told my infantry to pull back here and we'll try and get those skirmishes to target on them. Because just fighting in hand-to-hand -hand combat with the champions of the Pathea isn't working out. They're in a full retreat now. But, yeah. The, like, we, we would probably be nearly quicker getting that and defeating a couple of factions. But the, it's the whole antagonist thing. But if you guys want to see more Troy content on the channel, support it. Um, maybe I need to do some tutorial videos as well. Because I've just been focusing on campaigns. Because I've thoroughly been... Enjoying my experience with Troy so far. But I don't know in the future, like, would, would I go and play as Hector or Troy? Or is it kind of the same experience, just like in and around the same area? I don't know. Because it can kind of feel a little bit the same, samey. Um, because just the way the nature of the campaign is, once you sort of get to the end tier, like I tend to do, you very much become the same faction once you confederate. Uh, with everyone. So we'll take on the Warriors there. We did lose a couple, which is a bit of a shame. But we've thrown back one full stack, sieging us out there. But Anais has done well. We'll completely obliterate them here now. And we're not going to get that seven, so we'll just auto-resolve this one out. <laughs> auto-resolves, man. They're incredibly harsh on veteran difficulty in Troy. Yeah, but I reckon Lesbos is probably gone. We're still 95 turns into the Let's Play. Um, I might go through my building chains a little bit later of what I'm sort of building. So we'll move Anais back there. Um, no special recruitment. And, well, I guess we can bring in... Mm, just more Anatolian swords. Okay, Romulus is pushing up here. He's got four guards looking over him. And we'll auto resolve this one out as I just played the Anais battle. Yeah, so if we can maybe take this pocket down here in the south, it might give us a little bit of breathing room. But I'm blown away as of how aggressive and tenacious the Spartans are. Look at this man, they're on the other side of the world conquering, and they also took those islands as well. Um, we've only got heavy Anatolian skirmishes there, so let's get a couple of those. Yeah, so if. Yeah, I, th I just think it's a little bit unfair, isn't it? Um, but, yeah. Aeneas is ranked 27. Romulus has been within the entire campaign and sharing the XP as 21. Zarplan's got some pretty cool animations, though, with his axe. Um, and his hat. His hat's very cute as well. Um, yeah, they just, I just thought they would be a little bit more higher ranked. So we've taken the entire province, 250 favor for Aphrodite. So, so what's our next mission? Uh, let's replenish and repair. Yeah, so what's our next mission? Uh, maintain control of the following province. Yeah, we've got that. Send a priestess there. Good. Yeah, we can do that. Um, we'll send a priestess up there. I think there's one in Sarpedon's army. Actually, so we can do that. We can do the uh, time spear. Yeah, there's one there with him. Let's send you north, my lady. 
Six out of eleven. Okay, so Romulus needs to give chase. Now, I swear there's another army up here. Yeah, there it is. Man, that line of sight. <laughs> so deceiving. Okay, so that army fled back. Uh, we're actually being besieged there by another 20 stack. Achilles is down here somewhere. We've actually been just avoiding him a little bit. Oh, so that's now fled back. Can we defeat another large host? Far out, these auto resolves, man. Like, I can't play every single battle. We're going to be here all day. I guess we'll withdraw to the city. And if they attack me, we'll have the garrison to help me out. Yeah. Oh my god, we only just took that and there's more Spartans there. Because we're going to have to basically abandon these islands even though we took it um, for, the, for the victory conditions. Yeah, maybe you're better off just going around doing those missions and not even worrying about defending Troy. Because you really don't need to hold a certain amount, do you? Yeah, so they're sending 13 over there. That's crazy. Uh, these guys might want to sue for peace. Okay, so this is what we currently own. Anais is down here in Lesbos uh, with the full stack. We're 96 turns in. Hector's coming south to help out now. We've got Romulus trying to run down that unit. And as soon as we've just taken that island for the victory conditions, I've actually overextended myself. I'm not really a big fan of them. Um, there's only stone and gold there. But um, we'll send Sarpedon uh, to the coast here to defend. But we've got this priestess uh, moving north. Um, so you can get a little bit of more recruits here. Maybe some spearmen. Yeah, let's get two of those heavy Anatolian spears. But... Yeah, I guess Sarpedon's going to control the west. But this is what we currently occupy in our kingdom, which is quite cool. But look at Sparta and the others. We've still got a couple of outcroppings as well. I don't know how we're holding on to them and some in roads and stuff. Okay, so Apollo, Athena, Poseidon, and Zeus. We need to get that up. So you only have to get that up to 300 just for once, and then you can drop it down. So you, you nearly, you probably could break the temples down if you technically wanted to. Okay, so we've got more naval invasions coming on. Oh, crikey, there's four armies to the north. It's like the AI knew I wanted to go up there, but luckily we had the priestess in the area. So, we're up to the next mission, encircling the islands. Maintain control of the following one province, either by direct ownership or military. Are you kidding me? Seven out of eleven. Oh my god. How are we ever going to take, like, southern Crete? Hmm. I kind of wanted to unite Troy under me, but I probably shouldn't have done it in hindsight, because we've been drawn into this crazy war, which I don't even know if it's going to have an end. Well, we'll try and peace out with as many people as we can. We have been slowly piecing out with people. Um... I've only been really showing, like, crazy digression in this, because, like, there's so much stuff going on. And at this stage in the campaign, I have to edit it heavily, edit it heavily because there's so many lulls and down points, because I'm just constantly trying to build everything up and intercept people wherever I can. So I guess we have to abandon Lesbos. We'll bring back Aeneas closer to Hector. But they are just spamming out armies. Um, I guess I'll force march with Sarpedon, because we need to protect our northern kingdom. So Sarpedon can go north there. Yeah. yeah, it's like 40 units up here. So I guess we'll just send Romulus and Sarpedon to try and deal with it, while Hector and Aeneas hold the south. Hmm. Maybe pushing there might be defensible. Because I just took Thabe, didn't I? Yeah, we'll move Hector there. We'll allow Aeneas to sit in Larissa Trojas. Apollo, Athena, Poseidon. We've hit Zeus now. Uh, Divine Will-wise, Ares, Zeus, and Hera are celebrated. Athena will try and boost up next. Um, we just want to get 
those victory conditions. But Sparta we need to get rid of. Which is definitely easier going to be said than done. So we'll, we'll do a, pray, a prayer to Poseidon for now. Alright, Hector's going to try and make some progression here against Pedios. And it looks like he's going to be able to take this one in a clear cut order resolve. Crikey, man. What a crazy let's play we're having. Uniting the Trojan world is a lot harder. Or maybe there should be a countdown. Like, if you hold Troy for like 250 turns, you should be able to get some bonuses. I think the war lasts for 10 years, so I don't know how you'd calculate that exactly. Well, since there's no one hanging up there, let's make some progression. So maybe we can retake Lesbos. Oh, there's another 20 stack there. Maybe Aeneas taking this. Yeah, so if we just sort of... We'll just try and maybe get a couple of defensive zones. If we can, like, wipe out a couple of full stacks against either Sparta and the surrounding allies and sue for peace, then we might be able to progress. But for now, we're sort of stuck in a weird sort of gridlock, are we? So they've now disembarked. There's another army up there as well. Um... Yeah, they're actually sieging us there. So, we'll send up Romulus to cross the river. And I guess we'll try and get Sarpedon to engage. Yeah, Sarpedon's army's okay, but it's not amazing. So, we'll move Romulus up. Yeah, we just need to make sure we get the garrison involved. And then we'll be alright. Oh, crap. Actually, it needs to be out of that. Yeah, so if he's in a standard formation, he might be alright. So I guess we'll hold here, yeah, yeah, because they're just like spamming an army. So this is, yeah, so this is Achilles' host that we're facing, and then there's other Spartans and stuff hanging about. Ah, oh, we've been intercepted here during the end turn phase. You are defending against the Pythia. Yeah. So we'll all resolve this one out, and hopefully Sarpedon can come with a good victory. Because we're just trying to hold and defend our lands. Close one. We'll take on the replenishment there. Uh, Far out, man. Alright, that's now gone. Sack that. Far out. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> we're just getting attacked by all angles here. Is this a joke? Achilles is now back, ready to raid the poor people of Colonia for like a third time. No, please! Eh. It's Achilles, the accursed. Yeah, it's kind of funny that we called Alexander the Great, well, the Great, while the East called him Alexander the Accursed. Achilles the Accursed. Oh, there's another one up here in Estesos. Okay, guys, I've got to show you this. This is absolutely ridiculous. Look how many enemy armies I have to deal with. I'm hemorrhaging 2.4k uh, grain, but now Odysseus has got involved. So there's 40 units here that Aeneas has to defend with at one point. There's a third army here in the north in St and Stesos, and Sarpedon and Romulus are pushing north against... Another 30, and then there's like another one on the coast of the island there. And we need to eliminate Sparta and take Southern Crete. We're still strength ranked one, but um, Odysseus has 14 territories, while Sparta has 30, and Pythia has 24 as well. They've basically conquered all of Greece and have united against me. Oh my god. And now we're just constantly getting attacked. It's like, I'll try and defend it, but I don't know how I'm going to be able to, because we're just being stretched too thin. Yeah, so we can't go down there. Like, there's no way we can send an army down south. Yeah, maybe it was a mistake confederating. Maybe I should have left the Trojans and sort of done my own thing. Uh, right... So this army's hit Hector? Right, okay. So we should be able to get rid of this one. <laughs> These auto resolves don't help as well. Ethica. 
they're now coming across. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> There's 60 units! This is like chaos, man. Alright, Romulus and Sarpedon. Alright. Let's just try and pick apart these guys one by one. So let's try and retake this. In circle. So Romulus and Sarpedon are north. Dealing with Achilles' host while Hector and Aeneas are down in the south. Far out, man. They're just spamming out armies. They're also, like, a lot bigger terrain-wise, I think. Yeah, I think I don't think... I think there's a combination of factors working here. I feel like Sarpedon... Sarpedon did alright, but if Sarpedon is confederating with Hector in Paris, there's a reason why that's happening. They should be a lot bigger. They should have taken huge swathes of Paris territory. I just think they were nearly destroyed. We had to sort of grab them before they were sort of destroyed into dust but now like we've confederated we've become the leader of the trojan army and it's actually at a disadvantage because we don't need to hold territories to win we don't need to defend troy to win we just need to follow down that homeric stuff and deal with sparta so yeah we'll try and defend where we can and maybe try and sue for peace with a couple of factions but how are we going to win that yeah we're just sort of stuck now we really should be, like, a hundred turns in, we really should be wrapping things up. I don't know how we're going to sort of deal with this far out. Okay, so we'll try and continue to push further south with Hector, I guess. Hit the two and the twelve outside and secure the gold mine. Yeah. So I feel like maybe confederating it. I'm just sort of trying to give you guys some advice as well. Maybe avoid confederating if you're in a similar situation for me. If Hector and Achilles... Sorry, Hector, Paris, and Sarpedon are so weak. And I kind of feel like Sparta, Pythia, and Odysseus, they've had a really easy time conquering um, mainland Greece. Alright, so we've had a little bit of progression there. Let's just try and hold on where we can. Now I'm just getting frustrated. As long as I don't start raising shit, I'll be happy. Because sacking it's fine. doesn't really matter too much. Okay, so Odysseus has taken that. Aeneas is standing watch. Oh my god. <laughs> They're running rampant. Odysseus is now here himself. Alright, so that settlement's now fallen. Oh, now it's sacked. Now they're starting to raise stuff. Uh, okay. So they completely bypass Aeneas. I wonder if he's going to raise this now. No. The poor people of Colony. <laughs> Far out. Is that another army coming up? Oh, good. Now Troy's helping us out. Oh, now we're getting war decked. I guess, because we're, my relations are going down a bit. My ranking. Oh my god, who are these guys? Lasos. Oh my god. Yeah, this is why I have to skin, skip enter and stuff. Because sometimes it can be a little bit tedious with rebellions and stuff. But we're getting full on slammed here by the AI. So I can't not show it to you guys. My god, how are we going to get past this one? Well, unfortunately on that note, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for epi watching episode 5 of the Troy A Total War Saga Aeneas Let's Play. We're 101 turns in and we are just getting absolutely rushed by the forces of the Achaeans. And there's not really anyone else here to help us out. I guess we'll send Sarpedon and Romulus to hold. But, yeah, I don't know. Like, the thing is, right, we can probably win the war defensively. Like, we can probably get to a point where they stop taking and occupying our territory. However, how are we going to progress and push on? That's what I'm sort of 
more so worried about. And yeah, I might have to sort of go through and read the Homeric Victory Conditions because we just need to get the temples up with the gods. We need to continue on that chapter of Victory Conditions. So I don't actually know where it ends up as Aeneas. Like, do you actually, like, does the campaign, like, obviously with the Achilles, we know it ends with the Siege of Troy. Obviously, in, in this alternative timeline, we're going to be the hopefully alternative winner. So maybe we might need to take Sparta or Athens. Um, I'm not entirely sure. So, stay tuned for more content on the channel. Yeah, I guess we'll just have to make some defensive blockades. We're going to have to sacrifice Lesbos. We're probably going to have to stop expanding um, out of Troas. And we're just going to have to defend our coastline as best we can. But now they're starting to stretch into the mountains. We might actually have to sacrifice Troy and sort of hold our core territory back there. But it's tough, man. We're dealing with Odysseus, Achilles, Sparta by ourselves and I guess we'll have um, Sarpedon and, and Romulus trying to hold the north yeah we'll just have to see how I go is this a disaster campaign now I don't know let me know in the comments we're in a tough uh, situation so we're really just gonna have to try and throw as many of them back we'll try a super peace but we'll just sort of have to see how we go we might need to abandon our territory just to go for the Homeric victory conditions because yeah, it's just I feel like it just it's gonna get to one of those stages where you get grinded for so long that it just turns into a stalemate, and we can't get any more armies to combat that. I don't know. We're in a bit of a tricky spot. Maybe let me know tips and tricks of what I should do, or maybe what I've done wrong um, that you guys sort of play Warhammer Two because it's it, the the Troy campaign is a lot similar to Warhammer Two more so than anything. Obviously, you can once you confederate, you can overextend, you can expose yourself. So if you see any sort of Warhammer Two similarities in this, let me know. Or where do you think I've sort of gone wrong in this Aeneas campaign? Everything was going fine at the start. We were, we were really swimming in it, but as soon as we started getting military allies and defensive allies because of the missions which i knew was going to draw in more potential enemies i didn't want to do it but i want to continue down the homeric stuff because yeah maybe you're better off to get the defensive stuff and just break it easier because we're just getting into the stage where we've been called in we're at war with too many people and we don't have any ais around me because they're not like like obviously we're facing three ais that are full-on cheating while we've got no one in our corner helping us cheating around the coast um but yeah, if I knew confederating with Hector and Paris was probably going to cause this, I probably shouldn't have done it in hindsight. I probably should have just let them be. If they were going to burn and crush into ruin, that might have been the play. But unfortunately, I'm going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching episode 5. Stay tuned for more content on the channel. And I'll play the outro now. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comment section down below your feedback for the series. And if you'd like to see more, that's the best way to ensure more content. Leave a dislike if you're not enjoying the series. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram all in the description below. Patreon and merchandise link in the description below, along with the Steam group. Come and join the community on Steam. And on that note, unfortunately, I have to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching once again. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Go out and have a fantastic rest of your day. My name is Ben Simsy. Goodbye.